Hey everybody, it's just an ordinary day at Chunan University. Today's Wednesday, but it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit out there, so I decided to stay here and get some work done. I just finished exercising and doing laundry right now, so can't go anywhere. Now that I'm in South Korea, some of you might wonder, do I miss San Diego? Well, for the most part, no, I don't. Not yet, at least. But there are people and things in San Diego that I do miss. I miss my Cantonese parents, of course. I mean, I get up every morning, I cannot see my parents. I cannot say Jousan to them. I'm still not used to it. I think tomorrow when I wake up, I just want to say Jousan to them. Or I just call them uh, during nighttime. Mommy, Daddy, Jousan! But they'll be pissed off. And just say, Lego say so tight! In and out, I really, really miss In and out. Those animal style fries, I'm craving for it. I should have had more In and out before I left. I think once I get back to the US, when I land in LAX, the first thing I'll do is eat In and out. Sucks they don't have In and out here in Seoul, but they have Shake Shack, but I like In and out better. <laughs> I miss speaking Cantonese. I haven't made any Cantonese friends yet. At least in San Diego, I was able to speak Cantonese with my parents. And I miss teaching all of you Cantonese, of course. Before I left for Seoul, I actually filmed two episodes of the Let's Improve Cantonese, but unfortunately, I didn't have time to edit it. I'll do that once I get back. But here are some things that I don't miss about San Diego. Moving to Seoul, one thing I'm really glad about is not having to drive. Working Uber for three years, driving so much, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of driving. When I'm not working, I don't want to drive. What else I don't miss about San Diego? Oh, all those times um, when I don't feel safe, I definitely don't miss that. Even though they say San Diego is probably one of the safest cities to live in the United States, it's still the United States. I mean, when foreigners come to the United States, the first thing that pops into their mind is people in the US carry guns. And it also depends on where you live. There are quite a few sketchy areas in San Diego. Lately, most of the murders happen in San Diego downtown. And I definitely don't miss the expenses of living in San Diego. I mean, rent, electric bills, water bills. People in the US have to drive, so gas. San Diego is not a cheap place to live. Like living in this dorm for four months, I'm only paying like uh, 1200 US dollars. That's like one month rent in San Diego. I'm pretty sure there's a long list of things that I don't miss about San Diego. Have you been to Seoul? If yeah, um, what do you like about Seoul? Please comment below. Thanks for watching.